Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and today we're continuing on with Dordogne. Okay. Making sure I didn't miss any stickers. She's asleep. Okay. A new tape. Sneaky. A ladybug sticker. Nothing new over here. Nothing here. Okay. I was so carefree off to meet a 10 year old thief <laughs> i feel like i'm remembering someone else's life yeah well memory loss will make you do that i can't go that way so i must be on the boat Slowly going. See the little exclamation mark. Okay.
Okay. Yay! We have a beaker. I'm sorry, a jar. We have a jar. Yeah, we got a sticker. That should do it. A cave. Galleries. He's up there. Okay, let's go up there. Renu. Get lost. Never, no, never. Okay, bats. Yes, we met the Chausson Souris. So I don't think three fireflies would produce enough no light for us to be able to see this. Hopefully we can become friends. Club. the club is actually the dodang thanks for your help Dordogne. i thought you were a great explorer i am wow this is 
This is very, very cool. I know. These are things I collected through the years, and you haven't seen anything yet. Yay! Renault's lair. Can I move around? Bottom of the Dordogne uh, eats as long as you're. Okay. Where's this barking dog? I also love the fact that I can see through your well, shorts. I have something even cooler. Cooler than this? You have books, fishing rods, and a wonderful view. This is truly remarkable. Look at this beauty. <laughs> a calculator watch. I can watch. in class, and I can even store ten phone numbers. Ten! No way. Can I see it? No, you can't. It's, uh, it's a gift. From my teacher. Oh. But it's a secret. You can't say a word to anyone, okay? You're very lucky, Renaud. And I won't tell a soul. Thank you, Mimi. That means a lot. Okay. Okay. Simon says. E e e mm hmm e mm hmm e Okay. E okay. Got a new tape. Oh, that's fun. This is so beautiful. The first stars will be coming out soon. <gasps> oh no! I, I have to go. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Cause tomorrow we're hunting the Coulombre. Yes, the Coulombre. I'm I'm sure Nora is worried sick. Let's 
listen to yourself. It sounds like I was a monster. I worked, Fabrice, and... Oh, my God, who says that to their mother? What has Mimi got to do with this? She's independent, and she's having fun here. Uh... Oh no, one second. I have a tape. Yeah, third week really flies. Well, what were the two? This one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to. Bad Books in August! <laughs> With my co-star, Mimi! Today, you're going to talk to us about a book you had to read. Yes. Dad forced me to read a book for the summer while I was here in Dordogne. Problem number one, the book is boring. Problem number two, Grandma really wants me to read it. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. I'm only doing my duty. Why don't you tell us the story? This book is about Francois, a boy okay. who is obsessed with a tall, super cool student at a school called Moln. Okay. Francois does nothing but follow Moln while he does a bunch of cool stuff like running around and exploring a castle. Okay. Like I said, it's very Moln. boring. Eventually, Moln gets married but leaves his wife. What? Oh, not very nice. Nope. Then Francois takes care of the baby. It's, uh, I don't know much about boys, but no boy would ever take care of someone else's baby. Mom! <laughs> what is your general opinion about this book? I don't really understand what Dad sees in it. I see. It's a classic. Maybe it's a classic because nobody said out loud how bad it was. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right. I guess it's time to say goodbye to all our listeners. Goodbye. See you next time. The only thing is that the quality of these tapes, like in the game, the quality is too good. They should be a little bit more grindy. Hello again. This is Mimi, extraordinary reporter. A snack. What? What's going on? Grandma, we wanted to have a discussion with you today. About a difficult topic. Hmm? Difficult topic? <clears throat> yes. The people of France want to know. W want to know what? Mimi, I was sleeping. It's 4 p.m. It's snack time. Where are the cookies? The cookies? You promised us cookies. I... <laughs> This is really good journalism. Waking me up from my nap and screaming in my ears. Grandma! Fine, fine. Let's make some cookies. To the kitchen. And drop that mic. I'm going to need your help to make them. That was Mimi, extraordinary reporter, solving another snack crisis for my country. Mimi! <laughs> Coming! Cute. Okay. We're going any anything that mystically popped up. No. Okay, we're gonna go to the table. We're gonna have hot cocoa. Yay. Okay. So where did we go? The 
pictures. How do we feel? Free. Okay. Probably, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Main character, she's, oh god, the writer has never met a woman, trust me. Awesome. Okay, we got our, that one. I missed three words. Um... There you go. There were more sounds, but I didn't get them. That chapter was actually quick. In comparison. The picnic. So now I have to go and find this scarf. But I'm going to leave that here for this episode. If you're not already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And in the next episode, we will answer that text message. Bye!